Good morning, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining me and all of my bug friends that came along for the ride. They wanted to come to Manitoba with me and I told them that they got a ride on the windshield, so there they are. All buckled in, ready to go. We picked this load up behind me in Atchison, Alberta. If you haven't seen my past videos, you can go back to my channel. I have them all in a playlist. You can go back and watch them. Now we have videos going back all the way to 2011. There's lots of free to catch up on if you're new. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. If you did like the video, or if you want to watch more, hit that like button if you did like the video. Once it's over, don't know what I'm talking about. I'm still waking my brain up here. Let's get this truck ready to go and let's hit the road. I'm in a bit of a rush. I wanna get this unloaded today yet and I don't have too much time to mess around. So I've already got my coffee. I think it's just a straight shot there. It's about four hours of driving. All right, ladies and jelly beans. Tell me you're in, tell me you're in Saskatchewan without telling me you're in Saskatchewan. Enough said. All right, we need to get going. Really need to get going. Really, really need to go. All right, let's go. Trailer's gonna come with me. Fantastic, and the brakes are working, and the brakes are releasing. Wonderful. Let's get out of here. tourists and campers out. I wish we were one of them. Maybe this weekend we'll be able to sneak away to the beach somewhere. Be nice. flashers on.
it would be nice if they'd have a nice merge lane, right? Or a nice uh, on-ramp, but Saskatchewan's not that fancy. Neither is Manitoba. speeding by me a couple of minutes ago too. Ha! Ah! He was doing like 130. At least, because he went wow right past me. And you gotta pay for your crimes, buddy. Speed limit's 110 here. He's probably going faster than that actually. That pickup went flying by me. position they're gonna unload me right away it's a bit of a narrow yard back here we only have from that fence over there to there to turn around in so I'm gonna turn around once I'm empty 
it's a lot easier on my truck and equipment if I turn around with less weight on me because I'm really heavy right now. I don't want to eh, jackknife it with all that weight on there if I don't have to. So usually I would turn around first so that if anything, if anybody else comes in here while I'm unloading, I'm not blocked in. I can get out, but I think I'll be okay here. I'll just wait till I'm unloaded. Then I can make it a little easier on my equipment. Take her a little easy on old blue, right? Oh, what do you got here? Oh no. Oh no. There too. Oh my. Okay. Well, starting to show that you're a working truck. Clear skies that way. Not so much that way. And it's coming this way. There is a tornado warning still in effect. So I think that's the system we got to worry about. Pretty sure we'll be okay though. I'm getting unloaded now and I'm trying to get all my equipment put away before that storm gets here. Before I have to start getting wet because I think that's coming with some rain. Call me crazy, but I think there's some rain in those clouds. Maybe even some tornadoes. We'll see. We made it. You know, we already see the rain starting to fall a little bit over there. And this cloud is gonna dump on us. Probably just a few miles that way. It's just pouring and it's coming this way. So I've gotta get this trailer to our yard yet and drop it. Oh, I can feel the raindrops already. Oh, yeah, there's another one. <sighs> so I'll probably have to unhook in the rain. Oh, there's a fly in here again. Oh, for crying out loud. Crying out loud. Who welcomed you in here? Not me. Of course, you open the windows, it won't be able to find its way out. Right over here. Get out. Oh, wow. It flew out. It's probably gonna come right back in here in a second. So now I feel better turning around. I don't have all that weight on my tires and frame. Back up a little bit here. See if I can jackknife it out of here. Might need to get my trailer further over this way first. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my whole unit closer to this side. Oh, I can't, there's a bucket there. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here. Could just barely make it. Barely, barely, barely. You don't want that trailer to touch your uh, side bearing. That'll crush it in and everybody will know what you've done. There you go. Oh, it feels so much better being empty. Oh, it's such a weight off my back. Literally. 